So we are at the midpoint of this 12 round championship bout. Al, what's your synopsis of the first six rounds? Well, you know, I think th that as a lefty, Pedraza was able to totally control his fight. As a righty, he's won. He, he won the last round, but what's happened is he's created, a, I think, a more intriguing fight. And for Klimov, if Pedraza is going to stay as a righty, he's going to have to make some big things happen. Pedraza wow. body shots. unleashing his attack, working the body, going upstairs. There's a right hand. Finally, Klimov responds with a jab. Klimov's busted up. Blood down the nose. Klimov has been cut a few times in his career. Last time was against John Molina over the left eye in the biggest win of his career as we uh, bring in Steve Farhood, our unofficial scorer. Mo, well, not a uh, difficult fight to score at all. Pedraza's been in complete command. The funny thing is, when he goes uh, right-handed, he gets hit more, but he's more exciting because his best punch is his left hook to the body. And, and a quick note about the judges here. You know, we're in Alabama, it's great to be here, but they have very inexperienced judges. One of the judges for this, a world title fight, Hasn't worked a show in a couple of years. He's worked one 10 round fight in his entire career. And another judge has worked only one 10 round fight in her entire career. So very uh, inexperienced judges for this fight. Well, Steve, luckily this fight's not e not that hard to score, right? Right. But Pedraza is landing some huge punches on the inside. Oh, and those body shots, man, they're making me cringe. I can't imagine how Klimov <laughs> feels. Klimov's face beginning to show the wear and tear mm. of battle. You know, Klimov languishing on the inside. He's taking away his own jab. Even though he is working hard on the inside, that's Pedraza's place. Yeah, his best weapon, his jab is... And there's really no safe place for Klimov. On the outside, right. Pedraza just walks him down. It's on the true. inside, he outfights him. It's getting to the point where, you know, you gotta start being careful with him. A jab may appear on the side of a milk carton soon, Al, if it, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, a final we have minute. Been, well, well, there's no way he can throw with him, yeah, so it's right. just close range. But yeah. even on the outside, guys, I mean, his jab yeah. wasn't good enough to back off Pedraza anyway. So that's where you have to have those plan B, C, D, and the rest of the alphabet, Paul. Unfortunately, the, the plan B seems to be inside with Pedraza, mm -hmm. which is just giving him, causing him to catch more of a beating right now. And Pedraza continues to use his jab to keep Klimov at distance, and every time Klimov comes in, smothers his own offense, and then tastes the, the power of Pedraza. And that's the thing. He, 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 Pedraza uses his jab to close that distance, go to the body. Look how creative he is. He goes right to the body, the comes up with an uppercut to the head. You can't see where the punches are going. Yeah, bearing his attack, much to the delight of the crowd here in Alabama. Back Pedraza to beginning to just tattoo and paint Klimov's body with all kinds of punches. Pedraza now back in the south pole. Pedraza was extremely effective in that last round, perhaps his best offensive round in the fight. And even though Klimov trying to unleash his attack on the inside, there's that flurry of body punches that we saw earlier in the round. And Pedraza jabbing his way in, using it as a rangefinder to get inside where he is blasting away to the body. And the uppercut, which Klimov has a pretty good uppercut, but it's Pedraza who's been using it very effectively on the inside, and you will see how effective it was against Klimov.